not my favorite. Silent Night, Holy Night. It's, it's good. It's an old one and it's a good one. But I just uh, have a lot of blessings. And John said he's going to Chattanooga. And uh, he's not got to come back, or I don't know if he'll come back by here uh, tonight or not, but he'll check with me. Uh -huh. You know, but he's going to see different ones. So uh, it's good to have John. Yeah, I left a card here for you to give to him. Did, did you think about giving it to him? You left it here for John? Yeah. When did you leave it? It's got me on YouTube. Huh? It's got C. Don Sings. Well, I'll hunt it. <laughs> I didn't throw it away. You're on there, too, on the computer. Huh? You're on the computer, too. I'm on the computer. Yep. Well. Anybody can look at you whenever they want. <laughs> I know they'll get a thrill out of that. <laughs> well, sometimes people can't come, come and see you because they live far away. What? Sometimes people can't come and see you because oh, they live far away. Is. Hey, we, uh, me and my uh, friend over here, roommate, we've got a good room here. We just got nearly everything we want. She's down there now. Yeah. And uh, I've been down there uh, uh, playing games and doing different things. And we go down to eat and they have special. They have uh, bingo games and good prizes, honey. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't have a better place than this. And I'm just real thankful for it. But I was real tired. And I went down there and stayed a good while. And I was real tired when I got back up here. So I've just been resting. Yeah, just think of all the people that you would like to see for Christmas. But they're too far away or they can't yeah. come and visit. You could tell them Merry Christmas. Who, yeah. who all would you tell? Francis. Francis has been here today. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. She checks on me a lot. And Francis has a problem, you know, to getting around. She hurts, and she comes. She she comes to see me. I know she cares about me. So she gets up here and comes down the hall and comes to see me. I'm sure you got a few people that care about you. Yeah. Well, see, I lived with her when before she wasn't uh, with her mother. Her mother was my sister, oldest sister, and I lived with them when she is. I think she's about four. Anyhow, Billy was not old enough to go to school, and uh, I lived with them. And she's like my kid sister. Yeah. I always have been. So she's just like my kid sister, and, and that's the way we feel toward each other. Because I was raised in, in her home, too. When I went, I was 18 when I went to Chattanooga to work. And Frances was just about three, I think. Anytime was she in the singing was, group with you? Huh? Was she in the singing group with you? A singing group? Yeah. Uh-uh. Oh. No, she wasn't in... Uh, not mess. We just met somewhere, you know, as a family or something. But uh, I really miss Bud because he, we we've always been so close. But he was hurting so much and everything. When I miss him, I just think how good, because he's been a Christian ever since he's a teenager. I just think how good he's breathing now. Because he got to where he couldn't hardly breathe. He just had to fight to breathe. And I couldn't hardly stand that. Bud was always been a good guy. Now, he served three years uh, during the war, right after we got married. And I sang in a trio, and we rode the bus, and people coming to my apartment and got us, took us to revivals, and all that stuff for three years while Bud was overseas. And when he come home, then went me and me and him. And we joined the Mountain Creek Baptist Church and uh, we worked in that church. And we've had a good life. But I miss him now. But when I miss him, I think about how hard he was working to breathe. He's getting where it was bad. And the Lord just took him on out of it. But, oh, I miss him so much. But I'll be 91 my birthday. 92. I mean, yeah, I am 91. You'll be 92. You're <laughs> keeping up with 1918. me. I met you on your 91st birthday. Well, uh, Bud wasn't 92 yet, was he? Um, I don't know. I don't think he was. 
I haven't been telling everybody it's 91. But that's the first day I met you on your 91st birthday at your party in Chattanooga. Yeah. That was my 91st. Some good food. Huh? Good food. Yeah. <sighs> I get things mixed up. But I feel good. And I do a lot. But I get like that. I get, when I'm telling something, I get mixed up. Some nephews that I care about, and they care about me. And there's nobody that has any more to be thankful for than I do. I am so thankful. And John will be back here for long. He told me he's going to Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. He'll be back by, but he see, he's yeah. seeing different people. Yeah. Yeah. He's been a good son. Yeah. And, uh, after we adopted John and raised him from a baby, I, his mother handed him to Boog's arms. She had another baby and she is going with this married man. He got her pregnant again. And uh, we got John. But he has been so good. He is such a good son. And I, I appreciate him so much. I hear from him all the time. And he's a good son. And you don't ever know, you know, why things happen. And... Uh, I was saved when I was 18, and I've taught Sunday school most of my life, teenage girls. But you don't ever know uh, why things happen, when they happen. But after you get nearly 90, you look back and you you see things as they happen and why they happen, maybe. Some of the reasons they happen. And, of course, I was, my mother had 10 kids, and I was third from the youngest. And I had a, I had good parents, good brothers and sisters. I have a good life now, but I don't think I'll be here too much longer. But I have all I need, and uh, I don't know. I might be live a good while. <laughs> I'm taking it one day at a time. And I have John. He is a very good son. He calls every night. Regardless of where he is, he calls. Mm -hmm. And I just feel real thankful for everything. So I'll be going down to eat supper before long. Yep. See, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to wash the dish or anything. And see, I've been busy all my life, honey. Boy, she used to make the best tea. <laughs> Boy, she could make the best iced tea. And she she, she worked at a drugstore down there, and they... they got her to make all the iced tea. <laughs> you worked at a place down there, didn't you? Yeah. Red Bank. Red, Red Bank. Bank Pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah. She made I, all the tea down there. I've had a lot of good uh, blessings during my life. Yeah, who's that picture up there? Oh. That's my mother and dad. Oh. That's Granddaddy and Grandma Green. How about that? Yeah, somebody drawed it, you know. And I don't know, remember who it was. But it's good, ain't it? Yeah.